You're tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. I am back. Rudrance for Black and White Sports 2. Well, we're going to talk about the NFL once again selling out their fans, and in this case, it is their in-stadium fans that are going to be the most affected. John Mara of the Giants is still vocally upset over this. Several teams did vote no, but they got the 24 votes to be able to flex Thursday night games. What does that mean? Move a game from Sunday to Thursday. All of a sudden, I mean, any family that's got their plans laid out to go to these games and look, the NFL kind of brought about the outrage on themselves because we're not the ones that put out this fully produced league special on schedule release night. Yeah. I mean, that's a full show, a three hour show. They got Rich Eisen on there. They're breaking down matchups and they put that show out so fans can start planning traveling plans and buying tickets and this and that and the other mark cuban a while back said the nfl better be careful because they will make some kind of decision eventually that is going to start turning off fans they believe this league is bulletproof but at some point i mean there was a time major league baseball was the number one sport in the country it's not now is it There was a time when the NBA drew 25 and 30 million viewers. Boy, they don't even draw close to that anymore. And I guarantee you they never dreamed that they would be looking up at NBA playoff games getting 6 million views or less. So anything can happen. And eventually the NFL bubble could burst. So let's get to this. Um... Jerry Jones has made comments. I I can't stand his comments. In my opinion, it it feels awfully f you to fans. It, it's certainly it's certainly there's a lack of awareness in Jerry Jones's comments uh, because he makes it clear uh, just how little. But I mean, they've put a percent on it. This is the percent of fans that ever will show up in a stadium. It's the NFL telling you the only thing they care about is television. The in-stadium product, the fans, they don't seem to care for whatever reason. Which is odd because Jerry Jones has got the damn Jones Mahal up there, right? We've got a bunch of articles on this. TNF flex scheduling approved despite protests from John Mara. Once again, vehemently opposed to Thursday night football flex scheduling, but despite his best effort, the measure passed on Monday evening. Just to give you an idea, Florio wrote an article, Thursday night flex is a middle finger to end stadium fans. Of course it is. The final vote, 24 owners said yes, 8 no. Of course, Mayor was a firm no alongside the Jets, Packers, Bears, Raiders, Lions, Bengals, Steelers, wow, I guess those are your franchises that actually care about their in-stadium fans. Of course, you know why in part that's happening? Look, the Giants, Jets, Raiders, Steelers, people are going to plan vacations around going up and seeing seeing those brands. I mean, there it's teams with national kind of followings. Why the Cowboys jumped on this, I don't know. Because their ratings is going to be good regardless. Packers, a lot of national fans. Bears, a lot of national fans. Raiders, Steelers, a lot of national fans. Quote, I'm disappointed, but certainly not surprised. Via Judy Batista. Back in March, reportedly... Animated Mara protested against the proposed change with NFL fans in mind. At some point, can we please give some consideration to the people who are coming to our games? People make plans to go to these games weeks and months in advance, Mara said at the time. And 15 days ahead of time to say, sorry folks, that game you were planning to take 
your kids to on Sunday at 1 is now on Thursday night. What are we thinking about? Question mark. Mara went as far to call TNF flex scheduling, quote, abusive. The one good bit of news is if you can, can consider any of it good news is that teams and fans will have 28 days advance notice as opposed to 15 days that had been previously discussed. The league must inform teams involved no later than 28 days in advance of the event. In addition, any team flexed in the Thursday night prime uh, Thursday night game cannot exceed seven primetime game limit as established previously by the NFL. The teams can only be flexed to Thursday once during the season and cannot play two on the road, but also cannot exceed more than two Thursday night games in a season. The rule has outlined that flex scheduling can only be applied to Thursday night football twice during the season, meaning the league and its partners cannot decide to completely alter weeks 13 through 17 schedule. That's good. At least it's something. By the way, the Giants have got six primetime games. Now, let's get to Jerry Jones because, uh, man, I didn't like these comments. I, I, I truly did not. Truly did not. And the NFL just is oozing bullshit on this. We're incredibly focused on our fans in the stadium. Horseshit. We're focused on our fans watching from screens and televisions everywhere else. Correct. Positive. That is, that's the statement of this statement. That is the one part, the back half, that is true. NFL EVP and Chief Operating Officer Hans Schroeder, or Schroeder says... Monday, <laughs> might as well call him scrotum for crying out loud. Quote, I don't want at all to think we're not being sensitive to that and that we'll do our best on how we communicate, how we do that as clearly and as early as we can. But we're also trying to balance on the other side of that, that we're getting the right games into the right windows, and that's something we're going to weigh heavily. Look. This is about Thursday Night Football, Amazon Prime. That's what all this is about, streaming. They did not hold up their end of the bargain because their ratings on um, Amazon Prime were down 42% versus on network television. Well, we knew that was going to be a disaster, did we not? I mean, you know, we, we knew those ratings were going to be down. No one wants a lemon in primetime, but they happen. And guess what? Everybody tunes in the following week anyway. Between a game that's flexed out and a game that's flexed in, that's 100,000-plus fans having their plans impacted. That's four teams whose football operations staff have to readjust. That's two host stadiums and cities that now have to change their staffing plans, be in concessions, or in a hotel, or at a restaurant. Yeah, I mean, this is not a Sunday flex. A Sunday flex is bad, but at least you're already in town. You've made plans. You either just slide up or slide down in the same day. It is much different. So, here we go with Jerry Jones. But the determination the, the owners have made, made is all those people above who are impacted across teams and cities equal a number of that is far less than the people impacted who will be watching on a screen somewhere. And that is the number that matters. I mean, they're just coming out and saying, and, and, and Jerry Jones admits it, that they're concerned about the people watching on TV. Quote, very, very important point, Cowboys owner Jerry Jones said Monday, when inconvenience to the fans was mentioned, every owner in that room lives and breathes sensitivity to those fans horseshit but only seven percent of our fans have ever been inside a stadium seven percent he made a point to re-say that so you've got a lot of fans a huge majority of fans that are out there that this is good for them for them wow i mean he he's telling you we're just making it blatantly obvious that the fans in the stadium are less important than the fans that are going to be watching on Amazon Prime. Look, 
we just found out there's a, you know, Peacock is getting an exclusive playoff game. Well, guess what? One of those games late in the year, probably the Saturday game, either the second to last or last weekend, uh, whichever, when they start showing the Saturday games right after college ends, one of those games, the Bills and the Chargers, has become a streaming-only Peacock game. I mean, that's Justin Herbert, Josh Allen, the battle of the young, great QBs that is now going exclusively to Peacock. It's not even going to be on NBC. So yet again, another network game moved over to streaming. And I think everybody knows eventually streaming is going to be a thing, right? But this isn't 10 or 15 years from now. There is so many people, including myself, that live in rural areas where we don't even have fiber here. We don't. That's not a thing. I mean, we're still dealing at times with download speeds of 10 and 12 down. That's still a thing. You know? So it, it's it's pretty amazing, not to mention Amazon's uh, streaming app was extremely faulty last year with buffering and pixelation and all this shit. Even at times when internet speeds are flying it did that to John. He gets like 500, 500 and a gig down sometimes. On, I mean, just flying speeds. By the way, I have no trouble with any other streaming apps. Just Amazon Prime, just on Thursday night. It was obvious their infrastructure can't handle it. Now we got YouTube and Sunday, Sunday NFL ticket coming. I'm not paying for that. I'll do Red Zone, but I'm not paying that 300 so... I guess I'm stuck with the five or six actual 49er games I get to watch in full and then the replays and whatever I get to see once they get in the red zone. Tell me what you think, Black and White Sports 2 supporters. You're going to the stadium? You better be very weary if your team is any good this year because the league is telling you we're subject to to set a bomb off on your entire plans, your flight plans, your hotel plans, your reservation, anything you've done, we're subject to blow it up and ruin your entire potential vacation. Believe it or not, there are people, especially for those national teams, fans of the Packers, the Steelers, that will fly into Green Bay and they will take their vacation there and center it around seeing The Packers or the Bears or the Steelers or go to Vegas for the weekend and also throw. I can tell you, if I was going to Vegas, I would plan around a Raiders game because, A, that stadium looks phenomenal. I mean, that is, to me, that's the best looking stadium. I know it's not the Jones Mahal, but that Death Star is awesome. You know, I'd go out there, I'd be like, yeah, I get to see ex-Patriots, I get to see Jimmy Garoppolo play, all this, ex-49er. And I'd plan around that. That would be the centerpiece of my Las Vegas vacation, would be to see the Raiders play. And they could potentially ruin it if the Raiders are any good. (laughs) They may not be, but you get the point. You know, if they're battling for a playoff spot, and that offense in, in, in Vegas is going to be good. Peace. I'm out. Till next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.